Welcome back to this week's edition of Carolina Cart Scene. This is episode 15 in the run lineup. Uh, we're going to talk about a lot of different tracks across three different states. We'll talk about some asphalt tracks that are running champ carts and some changes into the schedule. So let's get to it. First up is the racetrack we've talked about several times before is Mitchell Speedway in Dudley, South Carolina. And they had put, recently put out a schedule. They are an asphalt track just outside of Goldsboro, North Carolina. But they had to cancel their event because it was conflicting with the champ carts that were running and Wake County Speedway. Uh, unfortunately, the rain washed out Wake County Speedway and on that Friday night. And they both are trying to run on Friday night. So Mitchell's going to try to adjust their schedule. Hopefully they do come out. We personally, we really enjoy running at this track. Amira really, this is one of her most favorite tracks. And so um, I'll be adding more champ carts because that's one of the big classes that both tracks have. And I've been noticing that we're having a lot more champ cars than some of the bigger tracks. So in future editions, you're gonna be able to see that. So one of the first tracks we wanna talk about is running in North Carolina is Ace Speedway. This racetrack runs the bigger cars, but they also run a weekly champ cart series uh, within this particular track. This is one of the racetracks that seem to be running a weekly series. Uh, it is in Elon, North Carolina, which is just outside of Gold, uh, Greensboro, North Carolina. And they have a rural package on their website, website, so definitely check them out if you are interested in running there. Next up is New River All-American Speedway in Jacksonville, North Carolina, which is in the southeastern part of North Carolina. They'll be running Champ Carts on May 27th. Again, this looks like a track that may not run this every single week, so if you are interested in running your Champ Cart there, definitely check out their schedule and check out and see when they are running. Also running on May 27th is Liberty Raceway Park. Uh, they've got a lot of guaranteed money on the line. Clone 390 running for $1,000, including Clone Heavy 375. Uh, gates open at 10 a.m., practice starting at 1 p.m. Uh, there's a lot of different classes, great um, Facebook pages they have. Typically, the last two weeks, they've been actually having a live feed from the track. And so if you uh, cannot make it out to the track or have family that wants to watch you, there's a great Facebook feed that they do have and also YouTube uh, channel that they have going on. So definitely check out those and check out the racing that they do put on. Next up is Margaretsville Speedway. I posted a lot of different races from this racetrack this past week. And so uh, they are actually running on May 27th in Margaretsville, North Carolina. This is in Northeast uh, North Carolina, just close to the Virginia State line. Uh, we went out there and it was a great facility, really nice run. Uh, we're really strongly uh, thinking of running this race um, coming up. Uh, so if you are in the area, gates open at 10 a.m., practice and start at 12. Uh, Facebook page just seems to be very active for them and there's a lot of different classes listed. So definitely go check out their Facebook page and hopefully you make it out. Next up is Old State Line Speedway in Lawsonville, North Carolina. They'll be running on May the 27th. They haven't posted anything yet on Facebook, but according to their schedule, they are running. Typically, when they do run, gates open up at 10 with practice starting at 2 o'clock. This is, again, one of, another one of those racetracks I do have on my bucket list. I really want to get out and go support. Uh, so if you're in this area and watching them, definitely get out and support them. Also running on May 27th is Low Country Cartway. They're putting on the 10th Annual Junior Johnson Memorial. Uh, there's a lot of big classes on the line here, a lot of great uh, racing that's going to happen. They are land, located in Anwar, South Carolina. The gates open at 8 a.m. and practice starting at 10.30 a.m. Uh, so this is a Reaper Tire event, so definitely come out, check them out. Uh, they are running a flathead race, and again, if you've never seen that uh, type of racing or that motor being run, it is definitely something to get out and go see, so check them out. Next up running in South Carolina is Foothills Raceway in Easley, South Carolina. They'll be putting on the Austin Barrett Memorial Race on Friday, May the 26th. Uh, this is a great memorial race to get out and support. They'll be running a lot of different classes. Uh, they've had a lot, Foothills has had a lot of success from the last couple of weeks getting more and more carts to come out where they actually put it on the Facebook a reminder about parking. So it's great to see this track growing and the sport growing. So if you're in this area, either racing or watching, definitely get out and support them. 
Next running on May 27th is Warrior Creek Speedway in Great Court, South Carolina. They'll be putting on the Jeremy Tublin Memorial. They have a lot of different classes on the line. They have Flathead 350, a lot of junior classes, a lot of uh, other ones, Clone 350. Uh, this is a Maxxis tire only event. Uh, gates open at 3 p.m. and practice starting at 6. Uh, it's a great event, great memorial to support. So. If you're in this area, hopefully you'll be able to get out and see this event. Next up is a racetrack we've never talked about before. It is High Rev Speedway in Nashville, Georgia. They'll be running a lot of different classes on May 27th. The gates open at 11 a.m., practicing starting at 3. They have a Pro Limited Flathead that is running on this night and going for $2,500 to win, uh, $1,250 for second. Uh, so definitely a racetrack to check out. This is a Maxxis Tire event, so I uh, hope everybody can get out and see this event going on. 